to be bullied as a foreigner in a foreign country, as a child at school, I was bullied because I had uh, red hair. It's not easy every day and every day to read all these critics for decisions which have been taken 12 years ago when nobody of, there, of us was, was there. And now everyone knows that we have to make the best out of it. And we have to make the best World Cup ever. ever. And Doha is ready. Qatar is ready. It will be the best World Cup ever, of course. What is sad is that, especially in the last weeks, we have been assisting on, uh, in some places, a real lesson of moral, of double moral. We are told many, many lessons from some Europeans, from the Western world. I'm European. Actually, I am European, not just I feel European. I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years before starting to give moral lessons to people. This moral lesson giving, one-sided, It's just hypocrisy. It's divided enough. We are organizing a World Cup. We're not organizing a war. We organize a World Cup where people, where people who have many problems, everyone in his or her life, want to come and enjoy. Look at the city. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's geared up. People are happy to celebrate. They were happy when the teams come. And when the teams come, they go to see the teams. And what do I read? Well, these people, they don't look like English. They shouldn't cheer for English because they look like Indians. I mean, what is that? Can somebody who looks like, in like an Indian not cheer for England or for Spain or for Germany? You know what this is? This is racism. This is pure racism. And we have to stop that. Because everyone in the world has the right to cheer for who he wants. I have uh, very strong feelings, I can tell you that. Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. Today I feel disabled. Today I feel uh, a migrant worker.